Hi, this is Splish making another Planet Side 2 video where I'm playing with different weapons and classes and on different continents. So I hope you enjoy the gameplay in the background. Before I start to talk a bit about updates in Planet Side 2, I wanted to take the opportunity to say thank you when it comes to the engagement and also support on my channel. And especially when it comes to Planet Side 2. It's nice to see that some of you guys have taken quite some time to both share your experiences overall when it comes to Planet Side 2, but also helping out with some tips regarding loadouts and similar. That's very much appreciated. I really wanted to say that. Same also when it comes to me putting Planet Side 2 on my Twitch stream schedule once in a while. I've had some nice conversations about the game, so thanks for that as well. Since I haven't played Planet Side 2 for that long, I wasn't really aware that there's a test server going on, although it makes perfect sense since it's a good way for the developers to try out new features and updates and also then getting some feedback from the community before making at least some of them public when it comes to the changes. Let me know in the comments if you are one of them that are showing up in the test servers once in a while and what you think about it. And if you're interested to join the test server yourself, you can do that on the PlanetSide2 website before reading the test server policies. I see that the developers have stated that one of the major focus for the team in 2023 is to tighten up the core and revisiting of past projects. They say that they through January has been working on a multitude of gameplay refinements user experience improvements, anti-sheet development, and also an investigation of server performance issues. So in this latest update as of late January this year, there's community requested features, balance adjustments, and more making their way into or back into the game. As always, you can read about these updates and patches yourself on planetside2.com. I made a video some time ago when I encountered cheaters in Planet Side 2. Something though that has been quite rare and I'm happy to say that since no one wants to encounter players that are cheating in any game. But as in many other online multiplayer games there are some guys that just don't seem to understand that cheating is not the way to go. Especially if you want to actually improve in a game and also feel that it's you and your time invested in the game that actually pays off, makes a difference and not some stupid cheats that are partly doing or doing a lot of the work for you. So in the last update the developers quietly introduced additional anti-sheet measures which they have been monitoring the performance of and it seems as in some cases it would ban offending players back later than they would like while in other cases it would only flag a target as suspicious but not meet the thresholds for a ban. So in this update they plugged some holes and also adjusted the tuning parameters of the system to catch and kick these individuals more quickly. Would be nice to hear from some of you guys out there that might be also experienced in Planet Side 2 what you think about this, if it's a noticeable improvement. When it comes to performance, something I'll get back to also later in the video, they have been releasing new so-called profiling zones to the server. And so these diagnosing tools, if you will, can hopefully lead to further improvements when it comes to Planet Side 2. Fingers crossed. For those of you that are playing Planet Side 2 using an NVIDIA graphics card, by the way, you have now access to NVIDIA's Deep Learning Super Sampling, which is DLSS, technology through the graphics settings menu. DLSS uses AI to enhance frame rate performance on DLSS enabled NVIDIA graphics cards. By the way, talking about performance, I just realized after all this time I've been playing Planet Side 2, which is by the way only about a year, that's not so long time. Uh, I haven't really been tweaking the settings properly in the menu in order to get better FPS performance. That in combination with some latency in the game overall has definitely put me sometimes in a bit of a disadvantage in certain one versus one situations. I do realize that now, since that became a bit of a discussion recently in one of my Planet Side 2 live streams, I honestly can't believe I've overseen that for so long, since I've always been quite picky, you might say, when it comes to looking into the settings early on when I start to play a new FPS game. I'm glad to see that the small adjustments definitely help, especially since I've for some time now have been forced to play games on a weaker graphics card than I used to have before. That in combination with the CPU that now is starting to get outdated makes it of course harder to keep up the frames, if that makes sense. Someone also told me that Planet Side 2 is quite CPU heavy, so there you go. 
I know that it's possible, of course, to go even lower when it comes to the settings, but I'm trying to find a sweet spot for now where I have decent performance at least, but at the same time also having the game to look okay from a graphics point of view for my videos on YouTube. Technique, technique, always a thing. But is there only an option for NVIDIA card players, you might ask? Nope, they have also integrated AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution into the game, which is accessible in the graphics settings menu. AMD FSR can improve frame rates using cutting-edge upscaling technology and can be used on any graphics card Planet Side 2 supports. I will look into this myself, although mine might be too old now, I don't know. As always, there's also been additional fixes when it comes to everything from reflex and ACOG rework to balance adjustments and everything in between. But I'm not going into detail with everything, so if you're looking for a specific update that might be close to heart for you, then you can once again check out the updates on the Planetside 2 website. The developers has also shared information when it comes to the construction system overhaul in 2023, which is a topic or a video in itself. But it seems as if they will try to be more transparent when it comes to content they are excited about, meaning that they'll let the community know more about their plans in advance, something I believe is super important when it comes to the communication between developers and the actual community. I made videos about other games where this has been an issue and it's never a good thing for a game in the long run if the community is being kept in the dark. They'll also show off more work in progress material and also when it comes to the test server that I talked about earlier in this video, they will encourage more feature testing on the actual test server. They hope that it'll lead to even more engaging discussions with the player base in 2023, so there you also have a chance to engage and give some feedback. I hope that 2023 can become a good year even though we're talking about a game that is now over 10 years old. And also a game that I discovered, as mentioned before, a bit late, even though I tried out the game already back in 2012. But as for many, I was busy playing other games, so it never really happened at that point of time that I got engaged within the game in the kind of degree that I am right now. That also means that you will see more Planetside 2 content coming up once in a while on my channel, and I will also stream it once in a while on my Twitch channel, so if you're interested, that's where to find me. Thanks again for watching, take care my friends, and let's be careful out there. Alright, bye bye.